Hey people, intro here, 3v3, Garvus Ice Gate Blue Team. Gigandi with a mech boy, teleporting hero, fighting in ranged combat, puts out some good damage, has a bunch of walkie gadgets, there he goes, this is the Freebooters DLC, recolored. Alongside, Death with a Farseer, support hero, fighting in melee, some powerful buffs and control, the Harlequins elite scheme here, recolored black and grey, looks alright innit? It might blend in with the terrain though, we'll see. Rounding off this team is Loan with a Force Commander, very good offense, fighting in melee, but also tank, disrupt and support. Red team, Kamikaze Gandhi with an Apothecary, support hero, fighting in melee combat by default, begins with a heal and a passive health, regeneration aura, some blood ravens here. Looks like it's Space Marines mirror up in the east. And now some Tyranids, Leatherman is a Lictor Alpha, a melee specialist going to infiltrate and disrupt some powerful offense and a bit of support. There he goes, all sneaky like. Might see a flesh hook on the Farseer here. Maybe one of those Guardian models instead. Thinking about it, Hormagaunts have already taken that central power. Just getting some vision for now. Rounding off the teams is Lambinator with a Ravenna Alpha. A tunneling hero with great mobility, powerful offense, and a bit of support begins with a ranged weapon. The first tunnel went up on his natural power there. Meanwhile, in the mid, it's kicking off. Banshees have found Elixir Alpha. I guess they wouldn't technically be called Banshees with the Harley Quinn scheme. I always forget what they would be called. Maybe they're called Harley Quinns or Death Jesters or something. I don't know. I'm going to call them Banshees for the sake of simplicity. And because I don't know any different. Fast here, special attack missed, and now she's sad. Runs at the Termigants. There's no Hormagaunts here for Lambinator to match up against the Slugger, so they're having to just back away here. Termigants in trouble. Gonna drop some Termigants in the first engagement. Might drop both of them, actually. This guy's gonna be alright. 45 hit points. They're alright. Ravenna should have gone into melee there when they ran past him to get some retreat melee attacks. Hormagaunt showed up late and then had to run away. What's going on east side? Space Marines versus Space Marines. They're all standing behind cover shooting at each other. Oh, Tactical Marine fell over. Died. Poor fella. Looks like the Force Commander maybe pushed a bit and got messed up. Had to back away. 2-1 to one cap very early on for the blue team. But Kamikaze Gandhi is taking that east side back. Mechboy ties up the Ravana so he can't fire that Devourer. Here come the Hormagaunts of Leatherman. Gonna find some shooter boys, perhaps. These guys are down to three models, too. Might want to retreat, fellas. See those little melee leaps of the Hormagaunts? Now they retreat. If they drop a model, maybe drop two, actually. Very close to dropping two, being down to one. Mech boy barely teleports out. Back to the east side, turning red. It is. Tactical Marines are that 50% faster capping trait. Putting it to good use. Are they gonna drop a model, though? you got shotgun scouts in play for Loan and a shuriken cannon on the field for death. Is that an L or is that an I on Loan? I think it's an L. It's really hard to tell in this game with this font that they use. Pretty sure it's an L though. Father Kerry has the customized storm bolt up. You can sit back and shoot stuff then. Throw out in heels and Disable the Force Commander with the full auto. Double Guardian Weapon Teams for Death. Ravenna Brood for both of the Tyranid players. Double tax for Kamikaze who's backed off to his power. Needs some support. Here comes Leatherman trying to come in from the angle which could backfire here. Banshee's on the prowl. Force Commander leaves the line. That was the battle cry, was it? No, that was Kraken Bolts being popped. 20% more damage to heavy infantry for the duration. Backed all the way off there. Gigandi doesn't seem super interested in defending the power very much. He's got some war banners up in the mid, which is strange. Using the frazzle to give those buffs. I think the way war banners work these days, they give a, I believe it's a 6% damage output and 6% damage reduction aura and a suppression aura while you're near them, which is not bad, because I assume that stacks. But if you activate Frazzle, you get a smaller buff. I think it's 4.5%, but it lasts for 30 seconds. So you can pop the Frazzle and move away from the War Banners and still get the bonus. And then, of course, you can pop War 
with the units themselves while they have Frazzle on them. Some good buff potential there. Especially combined with their powerful late game infantry orcs. You could pop that, pop a bunch of Frazzles on flash kits or something and go absolutely mental with the blasters as if they need it. What is this? Our oh, orcs pushed all the way up the west side, or all the way down the west side, I guess, and bashed one of the power. Fully upgraded shooter boys here. East side, northeast power is going to fall. Maybe even get decapped as well. Hormagons do have their adrenal glands here for Leatherman and double toxin sacks in. So probably, yeah, no war gear for the poor Lictor. Can't afford it. All, also bought Raveno Brood west side. Orcs falling over. Sluggers have their burners. Lots of Daka. Seems like Gigandi is now interested in fighting on this west side. Sluggers got absolutely melted there as they came in. It's a lot of damage output in tier 1. Double turn against Ravenna Brood and the Ravenna Alpha. And that could turn really nasty in tier 2. He's getting double Ravenna here. We're going to see a ranged Tyranid blob, I believe. Which can be extremely scary. I mean, they're not that difficult to shut down. But when you bring them into a 3v3, when you've got two other players potentially to worry about, it can complicate things. We'll see how Gandhi handles it. Maybe some Storm Boys, maybe some Stick Bombers. A Weird Boy would be super useful potentially as well. There's that battle cry from the Force Commander. 10 seconds of those special attacks and you get a stacking 10% damage buff around the Force Commander while it's active. Even affecting your allies there. Flame attacks for Loan. Got some Devastators as well back there. Mid is built up for red here with double gens. Lambanator coming back out of the west side. Gigandi ventures to the mid. Maybe looking at the VP, maybe looking at that power, maybe looking at shooting some Tyranids. Guardians are capping, really spread out. I think they're going to get it. No, those guys do have their battle equipment. Shuriken refaces. Guide goes up on it. That's a 30% range increase and damage increase. Starting ability of the Farseer. Pretty damn good one too. Look at the size of the Shuriken's arc when it's active. Now it's worn off though. And a reface again with some orc support. Assault squad on the field for Kamikaze Gandhi. They're quite low. They are going to jump. I don't think they needed to get that close to jump. Seems like they got closer than they needed to. One of them fall over from the Force Commander's Chainsword. Uh oh, tax there almost dropped. That was double Kruk and Bolt's tactical marines against those fellas. But they push him off again. Might even be able to get a power bash. Three top, says Kamikaze. Is there? Where's the Eldar? Oh, really? they have shurikens here. Fair enough. Meanwhile, west side, Lambonator got a full bash. And Sluggers with their burners are bashing that central node. Not sure why Gigandi ventured all the way over to the east side. Maybe he thought just couldn't fight Lambonator very well with these double Ravenous, double Termigants and stuff. It's a painful tier 1 army. And Lambonator is going tier 2 before Gigandi. You'd think it's going to be Weird Boy immediately, but it might go double stick bombers. I'd love to see Storm Boys, but I don't think we'll see it. I mean, they do blob up a lot. A Storm Boy jump could stun a lot of that stuff. Could follow it up with a Mech Boy teleporting in with electric armor or something as well. It'd be fun. 459 to 346 on the VPs. Loan with double Devastator Plasma Cannons out in Tier 2. These guys cost 15 power now. Still can't get over that. Going from 0 to 15 power. Weird Boy is on the way for Gigandi. Shooting match here. Tyran is very strong in this though at the moment. Shooting up those shooters. Pretty good. They've got this weird disgusting green ducker. The orcs don't like it. Ouch. Ouch. Formagons are going to wipe. And they do. Howling Banshee's running away. Have they got some XP? Not quite level 2, but they've got a bunch of XP. Got their aspect of fleetness. Here comes Lambinator's ranged Tyranids. Even scarier. 
four Wildman is here. Weird boy on the field. Great sub commander for orcs. Can control and damage large groups of infantry. Can also throw out some good support abilities with his warpath and stuff. Venom Brood dropped in for Leatherman. Leatherman, sorry. They can get a ranged synapse to greatly benefit all these ranged troops. Act as an anti vehicle unit by themselves. And they're going to get a full basher, I think, the red team here. Don't think they need all this stuff. Yeah, Lambinate is going back to the mid. Venom Brood on capping duty. And it's tier 3 for Kamikaze, tier 3 for Leatherman. And blue team are pinned the hell back here. Gigandi's been quite passive on the west side. We've seen a, a few pushes from them. They're popping that multiple frazzle again. That is a massive buff. That is a massive buff. That's like 20%, I think, for 30 seconds on all that stuff. And then they pop their own war, which stacks with themselves to get it even higher. Pretty good. Does the frazzle affect allied units, I wonder? Or is it just an orky thing? Fast here, do you have any war gear? You do. Rune armor for Psychic Storm and runes of reaping for more energy and cooldown reduction of her stuff. So tie up that Venom Brood, there we go. No vehicles spotted though. Do they have the ranged synapse? They do. 35% damage. Talk about a buff. And Lambinate is going to get that. Yeah, already has the Synapse Aura for damage. And they have their own Venom Brood with the ranged Synapse. This is a scary amount of damage now. You see that purple Aura from the from the Ravener's Synapse. And the light green Aura from the ranged Synapse. Does that stack additively? Is that a 60% damage buff? A lot of damage. Sluggers somehow got in, popping their Swampum. Crippling Poison though, puts a stop to that. Uh oh, Foot of Walk, need to move forward Tyranids. Oh, they retreated into it. Should have just stayed in play I think and moved forward a bit. 427 to 303, double cap here for the blue team. Can they get themselves back into this game? Looks like they are. They've swept across the east side. Scouts with a cheeky grenade. Threw it a bit long. Maybe maybe thought they'd back away. Did you get a decap? Oh, you actually capped it, Force Commander. Well done. Might die, though, as he tries to just casually jog away. Need to run, buddy. They're going to be all right, I think. Double plasma time. What is this glowing light here? I don't know what's going on with that. Can the plasmas hit anything? Well, they certainly hit that fella. What are they trying to do? Get into melee. There's, devast there's other devastators there. Back to the mid. Lots of scary tuned shooting, but it's not Lambinator's army. So it's not quite as scary. Elixir Alpha is going to go down. Did have the deadly jump you saw. And there's a burrow strike from the Raveners. Straight into trouble, though. Death gun for the mech. Now the blue team sweep through the mid onto the VP. Red team have really capitulated here. Late tier 2 into tier 3. But I guess Leatherman and Kamikaze Gandhi didn't really get much out in tier 2, did they? Although neither has death. Did Gandhi... Oh, had to replace their weird boy here. There's... That can't be his remains. The weird boy explodes. I guess they got bursted down by Lambanator's army. And now we have the Corrosive Devourer. For even scarier damage output. Having to retreat off that double though. Maybe they could have stayed and fighted that. Stayed and fought that. English. Difficult. Ravener Brood could have borrowed strike the mech. Maybe. And then crippling poison for the banshees and the sluggers and pour some damage on. Power bash. Red team really pinned back now. It's completely reversed. Look at this. Loan with a Terminator Force Commander. Not sure what the plan is, but it's there. Maybe we'll see some lightning claws. Leatherman with a swarm lord on the way. Kamikaze Gandhi with a land raider redeemer. 
might be able to push back quite hard here, the red team. Redeemer is up. I assume it's going to go straight to the east side, looks like it is, on the minimap. Need to burrow strike. Oh, Lictor Alpha gets in there. And wipes out the Shuriken. Really kicked their ass. Has corrosive claws. Power melee and debuff on hit. And now he's fallen over. Banshee's got him. And they're jumping over these walls. Which looks weird. It's warp magic. Assault squad late here for Kamikaze Gandhi. I guess the one they had wiped. Completely missed that. 427 to 189. Kicking off in the mid, is it? Nope. Everyone's capping calmly. Mech boys down. Swarmlord hits the field momentarily. We have a D cannon on the way for death. Blue team have the east side sewn up. Now here's all the tyrannies together. It's a bash to power. This should be a really quick bash. as quick as I thought it would be. Here's a weird boy to spoil the fun. Okay, the generator is dropping super fast. It's just a node that's always a bit tougher than you expect it to be. Having to get their own power back. Got a node it, fellas. Maybe. Over to the east side. Plasma cannon doesn't hit anything. There's a battle cry from the force commander. Got a power fist and a storm bolt now, knows how to use them. Got the carry with the purification vials. Not expect to see that. Wouldn't expect to see that against a space marine player, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe they'll chuck it now. I think they were trying to get close enough to chuck it on the plasma cannon. There's a jump. Oh, a jump into huge amounts of trouble though. Banshee's right there. Fast here, right there. Here comes a swarm lord though to even the score. There's a rocks. Dropped on the Tyranids and the Psychic Storm. Holy crap. That was some nice synergy. Suppressed everything with the Psychic Storm. They couldn't get away from the rocks. They should have just retreated though earlier maybe. Easier to say. Easier to say though, isn't it? Trying a formation. Going to be a good hit. Really good hit. Those Spires also provide some sizable buffs to nearby. I think it's only non-Synapse creatures. See the Swarm Lord here. It doesn't seem to be affected by the, uh, the buff circles at least. Oh, maybe it doesn't give buff circles. Yeah, maybe it doesn't. Swarm Lord provides a speed and reinforcement synapse. Gene Stillers for Leatherman does have to rebuild their army, but Tyrannies are typically quite good at that in Tier 3. Just pump out Khan effects in a team game. Typically do quite well. 427 to 118. Gene Stillers healing on hit there bad place for Gigandi to be and that was the blade flurry it almost wiped those sluggers I think they would have wiped if he didn't use it actually because the gene stealers were on them and he knocked them aside he's on terminators now for Loan. did not go for assault terminators assault cannon is on the way though and neither of those things really helped them fight the swarm lord could go in with their power fists maybe but that guy has melee resistance to swarm lord and it'll do a lot of damage to them. 405 to 118. Stern Guard for Kamikaze Gandhi. The assault squad did survive indeed. They've retreated back to the land raider here. The e cannon's getting shots. Yes, it is. Look at that. Holy crap. Forget how much damage the D cannon does if you don't move. And there's a singularity, and it wiped them out. Did it wipe them out? It did wipe them out. I thought maybe one of them got inside, but nope. Because yeah, it can be so difficult to spot. The D cannon firing. You, you do forget how much damage it does if you don't move. Lick the Alpha jumping in. We got some flash kits now. Firing those blasters. Leech Essence up on the Swarm Lord. A strange time to use it when he wasn't low on health. It still does damage to the nearby enemies, but the main use of it is to get that heal. See how long the Swarm Lord can stay in here. Not a huge amount of anti-vehicle, you know. I don't think it needs to back away. There's a D cannon. The weird boy shot does good anti-vehicle damage. That's about it. Again, maybe the Terminators could go into melee. Terminator Force Command runs away. Scouts get the decap and have to run. Swarm 
Well, it's still a menace. Land Raider able to fire all of its guns. What are these sluggers up to? Sluggers are going to wipe. Big Taralfa jumps in. Terminator is teleporting. That could be a big mistake. Now what? Double Gene Stealers on them. With Swarm Lord Speed Buff. Both have their heavy melee rending talons as well. There's a capillary tower to help them out. For those of you that don't know, these Terminators cannot retreat, so they had to take those hits. Their teleport was on cooldown. You just saw him use it, so you couldn't get away. They're all right. Didn't drop a model. Fire Prism up here for death. What's going on with these armies now? Gigandi might be looking for flash kit spam. Buffed by the wire banners. Maybe that maybe that was the plan all along. Scouts be falling over and died. Still all this stuff here from the Tyranids. They've taken over the east side. It's a massive push by them. Lambinator's army is very scary at the moment. Ravenet Alpha is level 5 as well. And as he levels up he does a bunch more damage with that ranged weapon. Yep. Scary. More flash kits for Gigandi on the way. Fire Prism and now a Laz Cannon to get put pressure on that Land Raider. There's a Eldritch Storm. Global Nuke for the Eldar. Which completely shuts down the movement and weapons for vehicles. It's going to go down. The Land Raider is such a prime target for that too. Psychic Storm suppresses the g and really messes them up. Are they going to get away? Those guys did. Leech Essence Swarm Lord alongside a Tyranno Formation. Absolute bedlam here. I wiped follow them, says Kamikaze. He sure did wipe. That Eldritch really messed you up. Did he have stuff inside the Land Raider? There's a Singularity there. Ouch. They still have some war banners up. Swarm Lord's going into base. Needs to be careful. Do they still have the... Um, Laz Cannon? They don't. Loan did drop the Laz Cannon at some point. Dropped their Terminators too. You can see them here. Got chased back by the Gene Stealers, I guess. Well done, fellas. Now trying to destroy these war banners. Do you get XP for this? I don't know. Swarm Lord don't get XP. Already knows everything, this guy. 264 to 116. I heard Banshees yelling. They found some Hormagaunts on the east side. Really extreme back and forth game. Both sides have been really pinned back, but at the, at the moment it's red team in the ascendancy, although Kamikaze needs to be very careful with his tank. He's trying to rebuild and he just sent a tank alone to the mid and now it's not moving is it stuck what's going on here it's gonna go down did not last long ouch says kamikaze why didn't it move i don't know Carn effects is now finally lambanator with a strangled thorn cannon and there's one on the way for leatherman oan saving for a land ready yep here he comes actually was floating there so these blasters do psychic damage so they extra versus heavy and super heavy infantry but they do very little damage to vehicles which is what this swarm lord has vehicle armor as impressive as they look barely vehicles blue team needs a push i don't think they realize how much kamikaze lost Avatar of Kane on the way for death. More flash kits for Gigandi. Most likely more blasters. Big range blob versus big range blob. There's the foot of warp. Boom. Swarm Lord's in there now. Grenades flying in. Didn't quite hit though. That's a singularity. Let's get some Pormagaunts and wipe them I think. Ouch, point blank plasma cannon hit. 
Swarm Lord mixing it up with a Force Commander Terminator. Doesn't seem like they want to bother shooting him. There we go. The Raven Alpha has plasma damage with that weapon, remember, so he's doing a ton of damage to that Force Commander. Gonna go down on retreat. Just got gobbled up by the Gene Stealers alongside that Lictor Alpha. Level 3 this guy now. 156 to 116. Red team cleaning up the mid. Kamikaze Gandhi needs to get some setup teams or something to try and recover and stabilize a bit. They've got tons of red, so maybe we'll see some Terminators actually. Could drop Terminators and a nuke pretty soon. They haven't looked at the VP. Doesn't seem like they want to push it though. Avatar's there, Land Raider's there. This Fire Prism's been annoying, which means it's been good. Stranglethorn Cannon is getting shots in on it though. Completely dominating the east side are the red team. We have double the Stranglethorn Cannon Khan effects for Lambinator. They've lost Hormagaunts and Termigants, but I don't think they've lost anything else. I don't think so. Three Stranglethorn Cannon Khan effects on the field. I think Leatherman should have got a, a melee thorn back one and gone full, full close combat. Those guys infiltrate as their idol. Blue team looking to push the mid. They've just given up the east side for now. Avatar. Just waltzing through that bolt of fire. Just shrugging it off. Tyrannies are really blocked up on those stairs. That's another singularity coming in, I believe. Yep. Decent hits. Lambinate is pushing up really far. Really far. That's a psychic storm. It's not going to affect those kind of effects, but it does force off the Ravana Alpha and the Ravana Brood. You have Flash Kid supported by a Land Raider now. So they can be very aggressive, get some bursts in, and then just retreat back. Look at that. They're getting hit by the D cannon as well, those guys. Kamikaze's completely forgotten about his Terminators. And he barely teleport out 50 hit points on those guys. That was pretty lucky. Carnifex shooting at the Force Commander. Swarm Lord is trying to get something done. Lampinator's Carnifex is still here, and that's a lot of damage going in. Spore Mine's being birthed out too. Tarana Formation even been so many of these already. I think it's the fourth one, isn't it? Or the third, third one, maybe? 80 to 107. Loan down to two units. Kamikaze Gandhi down to three units. Scouts on the way for Loan to help repair this land raider. Oh, there's the cult of speed on it. Global buff from the mech boy to speed up the land raider and lower the cooldown of its ranged weapons. Helping out. Gets it away. I'm still on, still no upgrades for the Terminator Force Commander. Back to the east side. 77 to 102. Death is looking quite strong actually. With double fire prisms and an avatar. Doing a lot of work on the east side. There's the Psychic Storm again. Level 7 Farsia. Has been pretty cool. I think she should get the Doombringer up the fast here. Help us snipe some targets. Now they're capping. Blue team getting a foothold again on the east side. Old Gene Stillers here are a threat to the Avatar. They've gone for their heavy melee. They would do more damage if they had their default power melee, I believe. Terminator is grabbing their VP back. Repairs. Is the mech, but mech boy is not helping to repair though. What is Gagandi looking at? Oh, they're on the east side. Wailing Doom. Some friendly fire. Uh oh. Banshee goes down. Got skewered by the Lictor Alpha there. Level 4. Here's the Ravana Alpha. Level 6 has the regenerate. There's a pretty crazy health regen as you can see. 
lot of damage on those flash kits, and flash kits are heavy infantry. As you see, the tactical marines popping their Kraken bolts. Ouch! Foot of Gork with a good solid hit there. Are you going to cap this stuff though, fellas? Maybe. 77 to 90 on the VPs. What is this? It's scouts. Capping that contested power. More Carnifex is going to come marching out soon. One from each of the Tyranny players. Lowen scouts have almost finished repairing. They're getting their sergeant too. Help them stay alive a bit, maybe. Chuck some grenades around. Avatar just standing out there, not sure why. Let's back away, buddy. I feel like these tack should get an upgrade too. Plasma. For the Avatar, maybe. And for the Flash Kits. Maybe he thinks they're just too vulnerable to upgrade. They might die right now. Are they they're reinforcing off the Swarm Lord? Must be some kind of heresy. Orbital and the rocks. The rocks didn't seem to hit too much, but it did force a bunch of stuff to run away. Why have you fallen down for so long, Force Commander? Get up. What are the Banshees yelling at? They're yelling over here. Bad fight for you, ladies. Waiting Doom. It's a good hit on those Gene Stillers. Almost wiped them out. Level 3 Gene Stillers and level 2 Gene Stillers, too. Can they get the Avatar? He's walked into the corner. Gonna go down, I think, the avatar. Yeah. Ran into a really weird place. Decent chase by Leatherman, but needs to be careful not to overextend. Fire prisms have been used quite well so far. One of them is level three. The Gandhi down to a single flash kit squad. Look at the damage they're taking from Lambinator's army. And that wasn't even all of it. That wasn't even the Ravenna Alpha himself shooting there. 65 to 67 on the VPs. It's so close. Four Carnifexes on the field now. Renan Brewer Devil 3. And I think, yeah, their synapse gets slightly better as they leveled up. Mega Rumbler. From the mech, cause an absolute mayhem. Has the beamy death gun now as well for anti vehicle damage. Such as these big, scary, monstrous tyranids. Kamikaze Gandhi has the Terminators back and reinforced. Where are they though? Oh, they're back here. Helping to oversee the recapture of the VP. Big fight in the mid. Another Tyranno formation. Venom Cannon Carnifex helps to take down the land radar. I don't know why it was so far forward. Really far forward. 62 to 45. Duck 2 to 1 cap for the red team. Uh oh, that's an Eldritch. And Warp vomited back into the Eldritch. Awesome combo again. That was nasty. That was really nasty. Laminator still has both of the Raveners. Still has the Venom Brood and the Carnifex. I need to reinforce some stuff. But that's going to take time. Blue team are rolling through the mid. Yeah, he strangled a level 3 strangled from Cannon Carnifex. Blast of Flash Gits getting the more darker global from the mech boy there so they can shoot more often I believe pretty good terminators of Loan able to get that cap can they lock down this 2 to 1 Lambinator says decap with terms he's trying it but that's an that's an orbital now And there's a time field in there, it looks like. Should have spread out the beams. Rookie mistake. But it 
Can stop them capping at least. Make boys really far forward here. Need to be careful, bud. These fire prisms have been amazing. Buffed by the Cult of Speed. Down goes the Carnifex there. Farsi is very low, level 9. See that armor of Asurian and Blue Team Abbott. Double cap. Wasn't even paying attention to the VPs. What a game. Both teams pegged back multiple times and they rallied and rallied and rallied. That uh, vomit into the nuke combo here, that did a lot. Because Lambinator was off the field for a while, then they tried to get to the east side. Look at these heroes here. Level 5 mech boy. Level 9 Farseer. Terminator Force Commander who can't level up. Got all the way back to the hero position in the roster though. Level 5 Apothecary. Kamikaze Gandhi. Struggled to preserve their units. I mean both of the Space Marine players kind of threw away their land raider. And then Kamikaze wiped and instantly threw away their tank. Leatherman's level 5 Lictor Alpha. And a level 7 Ravenet Alpha. Lambinator was super strong until right at the end there when they got that nuke. They were still pretty strong right at the end here too. Maybe they should have focused on getting their own VP back. Maybe they assumed they were. We saw him in chat say, was that un Yeah, I think that was Lambinator. Say, get the VP back with your terms, assuming they would be able to, and then they try and get this. But the nu the the orbital at the end sealed it, I guess. There you have it. Super fun game. Is this guy dying? I think he's dying. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.